If you want to learn how to install mods in 2019 for any version, keep watching to learn how. Before we begin guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button with the bell notification on so you don't miss any future videos. Hey guys, it's StarCats, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to install mods for Minecraft and this will work for any version. This is in 2019 because I know there's a lot of people having trouble downloading mods on Mac so I'll be showing you guys how to do this. It took me about two hours to figure this out so a like would be very appreciated. Anyways, let's start. So the first thing you want to do is you want to install you want to pick the mod you want to install so I have it saved right here so we're gonna download journey map for this so this works f hopefully for 1.12.2 so let's just press download latest file and it says this can harm your computer well we know it's safe since um, it's been reviewed and people haven't had having tr issues so we'll download it well we'll keep it so now that you have your mod installed and you can drag it onto your test desktop you can close out of chrome now you need to install forge for it now you have to do it on a different web browser i use safari because on chrome it will block it so just go files.minecraftforge.net and you'll see this screen up here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick your version so it's already set to 1.12.2 so you can press download latest or download recommended Hit, i'm gonna recommend the recommended one so you're gonna press installer don't press any of the other things you're not on windows i would assume so don't press on the windows installer and press installer now it's gonna have ads pop up so you just need to wait for the skip button and you can drag that onto your desktop and you can close out of Safari. Now that you have these two, it, you need to actually activate Forge now. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Minecraft launcher. You're going to go to launch options. You're going to press add new. And you're going to press... And if you have not played the version before, so if you're playing some... If you want a mod for 1.8... You need to be able to download, you have to be able to play 1.8 at least one time before you can activate it. So make sure you can make a world, just go inside and then exit out. However, I already played 1.12.2 before, so that won't be a problem. So you can just minimize this screen and double click on Forge. Now it says Forge 1.12.2 cannot be installed because from an un unidentified developer. Press OK. We can go into System Preferences, Security and Privacy. And right here it'll say, and you can say Open Anyways. Now, if you have a password, you might have to authenticate, so I'll quickly do that. So you can close out of System Preferences. And now Forge will be opened, so it'll say, Welcome to the Simple Forge Installer. Now, make sure it's ticked on Install Client and press OK. It says successfully install client profile forge version 1.12.2 into launcher. So press OK. Now you can reopen Minecraft. So just reopen Minecraft or open it if you've already played that version before. Go to launch options, press add new. Now you can call this whatever you want. So I'll call this forge 1.12.2 and since I have a lot of them I'll just well, I actually have a couple, I think this is three. Now you can scroll down to the bottom and you'll see your version right here, 1.12.2 Forge. Now press that. And you're going to press save. Now you're going to go to news. And you're going to select it. So, for me, right here. Or right here because I have a couple of them from other recordings. So I'll just pick the one that I like to play with. Alright, so once you have Minecraft opened, um, don't, you don't need these ones, this is just because I have replay mod. Uh, however, you, don't, you won't see these unless you have replay mod. Now, to make sure it works, you'll see Minecraft, Minecraft Coder Pack, and Minecraft Forge Loader, which means you've done it right. Uh, mode, not I meant mod, sorry. I have these other mods, but that's from previous stuff. 
So, now you actually want to install the mod that you s selected. So, we need to quit completely out of that. So, this is the mod that I want, which is called Journey Map. Which is like a little journey thing. It's like a mini map in your screen. So, what I want to do here is I'm going to make sure I'm selected on Finder. And if you're not selected on Finder, just click your background. And go Command Shift G. And make sure you have this into it so semi squiggly line forward slash library slash application space support slash minecraft slash mods press go the reason we have to do that is because for other people they weren't able to find their mods folder so if you just and you can't really create one because that kind of doesn't plug into the game as much so just do that and as you'll see any mods that you have will be installed here, however if you're watching this it'll probably be empty. So all you have to do is you need to drag in your file and I want to quickly make this look better. There we go. So once you have that in, you can close out of this and go into Minecraft and launch it again. Okay, so once you're in Minecraft, you'll see mods to make sure that your thing was installed. You can just search it up if you have a lot. So it's, I spelled it wrong. Oh, I didn't. Okay. So, journey map. So, we've done it right. I press done. And to make sure it works, I don't need to record this part. So, create a new world. And this is called this mod. Alright, so it is successfully installed. As you can see, the mini map in the corner. So, we have successfully installed it. So, if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and uh, yeah as we can see there's like I have animating in it so there's a different so if you enjoyed it please make sure you leave a like if this was helpful make sure you get, leave a like as well I guess and if this helped you out in any way please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions please let me know in the comments and subscribe if you're interested in more Minecraft and I might be doing an, a single player survival modded let's play very soon. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe as well. I also play other games such as Le The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Poke and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So if you're interested in those on tutorials on those videos, make sure you subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.